Let's do this, Adachi. <laughs> oh, I, I shouldn't make myself laugh so much. It's it's pretty embarrassing. Wow, well, I don't really mind. Anyway, this school is a terrifying, quiet world. After leaving the classroom, I take a stroll around the school. The empty school building is blurred in a dim light, making it all the creepier. And for some reason, it's become a complicated maze. As if the entire school had become a giant trap. Man, whoever made this must be pretty twisted. Then again, who am I to tell? <laughs> Good one. I glance around and notice the walls and ceilings were bored through as if something crushed into them. I saw plenty of similar signs of damage on the way here. I neither know nor care what happened, but the violent scratches here tell a story of what happened. At any rate, this is definitely not a peaceful place. <laughs> I'm starting to get sleepy. I'm out of shape and my back is hurting. Let's get this over with and go back. I rub my tired eyes and climb up the nearest set of stairs. Oh, what's behind door number one? There's just a single door at the end of this path. Normally, this would be the way to the roof, but there's no telling where it goes in this crazy world. In any case, I guess I better take a look. Doesn't appear to be locked. I slowly open the door and a warm, moist wind blows in. What in the world is this? The scene before me is bizarre. A bunch of crosses are stuck into the ground with an eerily giant moon in the background. Close by, I can see the moonlight bridge bent like a spoon. I definitely recognize it because I saw it more times than I would have liked to while I was in the city. Still... Talk about some disturbing taste in decor. This place feels like a set from a B-movie. Feels like zombies are going to attack me out of nowhere. Well, if I'm in the TV world, then there are shadows here. I guess they don't look all that different. I take a look around the area while I'm thinking that. <laughs> I sense a presence right behind me, and I instantly realize that someone snuck up on me. You gotta be kidding me, I may be crooked, but I was still a cop. I was paying attention to my surroundings, and somebody still got the drop on me. I carefully turn around and see a young man standing there. Welcome to his world. You must be Toru Adachi. The young man spreads his arms in a welcoming gesture. He has an impressively red hair, a sharp yet cold stare, and carries two odd looking katanas bears an X-shaped scar across his face. But above all, this extraordinary pressure he's giving off. It's the same feeling as what I felt in the interrogation room. He's the one who called me here. No doubt about it. Chills run down my spine in the face of this murderous intent. I keep a straight face and speak like I always do to hide my fear. You're the one that called me out. Seriously, I'd rather not. I'll tell you who I am to thank you. I am Minazuki. Show me Nazuki. The young man grins after he says that. I notice that there is a Yasuhai uniform tied around his waist. Does that make him a student there? He seems rather composed to be one. Those detective wannabes brats that acted more their age. Huh? And uh, what does this Minazuki kun want with me? If you don't have any business in particular, I'd really like to head back. Whether or not I explain myself to you will be decided right now. In the blink of an eye, Zixana is pointed at my throat. Hey man, what gives? He's the one who wanted me here. Isn't this a bit of a mean greeting? While I'm feeling frustrated with this, Minazaki tosses a gun towards me. This grip, it's the same revolver as the one I kept when I was a young... <laughs> when I was a detective. <laughs> well, he was named Young Detective. It's your gun. Pick it up. You're a skilled marksman, no? Minazaki raises his katanas. The punk wants me to test my strength? Ugh, fine, oh, I cluck my tongue and pick up the revolver off the ground. It pisses me off after listen to this brat. But I have a feeling things will be a bigger pain if I refuse to fight. I take in the comfort of a familiar grip in my hand. And turn to Minazuki. Are you sure you want to give me this? I'm the suspect in a murder case, you know. That's fine. 
come at me as if you wish to kill me. Wow, someone's confident. Okay, don't mind if I do. Oh wow, okay. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't show be winning because you know, as demonstrated, I guess it was much later um, that they had their their like squabble, I, I suppose. So there's a possibility that Adachi still sort of won or won the first round, I suppose. And then Show gets the better of him. Uh, I probably, uh, Okay, I need to... How, how, how does Ajachi work in this game? Okay. That's cool. He's kind of like... Ooh, okay. I was going to say, he's kind of feels like a grapple character, but... Wow, okay. He's a grapple, but plus a long range. He doesn't have any mid-range moves by the looks of it. That could be way off. Um, I don't, oh god, whoa, he really can be me there. Boomboed me. Okay, yeah, let's get ya, yeah, yeah, I'll just do the auto combo. Ooh, whoa. I can't tell if that was in the game, that scream, or if that was outside. But man, that was a bit frightening to hear. There's a lot of, um, children where I live. <laughs> That's really bad. But, uh, I hear them screaming all the time. And I'm just, like, kind of used to it. Feel uplifted for the first time in a while. Minaski's power was something. You know, it sure was something. Definitely, it definitely wasn't the standard keep it clean style of fighting. Sure, I beat him, but he probably wasn't taking me seriously. In fact, Minaski's pretty nonchalant while he looks at me, but he seems satisfied. You're quite skilled. I find your defeat incomprehensible. <sighs> Look who's talking. You look like you've got lots more energy to spare, too. Indeed. I was only testing you. I wanted to see if you would be of any use. I'm going to create his world. For that, I require your assistance. His world? Huh. Now I'm a little interested. Tell me more. Come to think of it, he said his before, too. So he's got another ally? Just in case, I sneak my revolver behind my back and reload the cylinder. This is what that boy wishes for. I intend on destroying this world. The world is filled with deception. Those within it prattle about friendship and bonds, yet they trample over others in the dark without a care. There is no value in such a world. What must be done is to eliminate everything within it. Huh. That's got my interest? Truth to tell, you're probably right. This world's all about useless, shallow, so-called friendships. And yeah, I think it's irritating too. I mean, hey, I gave destroying everything a shot once too. <laughs> That's only half true. Bonds, friendship, helping one another? There are a lot of people have flown all this nice sounding talk, but those same people will try to cut others off when they're attacked or in pain, right? In the end, it's just that humans have to rely on each other in order to live, but far too many dumbasses misunderstand that and try to make it way more meaningful than it really is. That's why I really understand where this guy's coming from. It'd be nice if you could erase this shitty wall like a magic trick. At least, that's what I used to think. You gained a power beyond humans. Do you remember that time? Power beyond humans? Huh. You mean that thing? What do you want with it? I intend to summon that power. But it needs to be tamed. Minaski's eyes waver like red flames. Hmm, I see. It looks like he's been given power. Just like me. For that, I require your assistance. You will cooperate with me. You have no choice in this. Minazuki points his katana at me again. With my power, I didn't have much control. I was taken over by some mysterious force and had no memory of it. He's poked around my personal profile, but he's missing the most important part. I guess he's just some brat after all. He can't do his research. Come on, you're not giving me a say here. And about this taming thing, that's all up to you. What does it have to do with me? Yeah. If you want my help, I guess I'll cooperate with you as best I can. 
As best as you can. Very well. You have another role as well. What? There's more? Persona users. I will gather them and make them fight. You will also participate in this. Huh? That sounds like a real pain. I mean, why are you making them fight? <laughs> 